Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my birthday get ready with me. I actually did this live on Instagram, but I knew you guys would love to see it on YouTube, so I went ahead and recorded it as well. So, so I'm first going to be using two primers. This is the MAC Skin Primer, Prep and Prime Skin, and then the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier. I don't want to have a completely matte look, but I do want my skin to last all night because we went out that night. I mean, I knew I was going to go out, but I didn't know I was going to be like surprised and stuff. But I knew that I was going to be out for a long time. So I'm making sure to set my primer as well. I'm using the Fenty Beauty setting powder, and this is in the color Honey. And I'm also going to use a mattifying foundation. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. This foundation is bombastic. Not only that, but it comes in a lot of shades. And this shade is actually my perfect shade. Like it matches me absolutely perfectly and I cannot deny the amazingness of this foundation. This is the shade Mahogany and it's just the perfect shade for me. I can't find any other foundation that actually has a shade that matches me perfectly with no mixing. After blending that out, we're gonna go ahead and put on our concealer. I can't decide for the life of me which concealer I like more. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 360 and I'm using the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in in medium. It's one of those. I'll have to <laughs> put it in the description box so you guys know exactly what color I'm using. But one is lighter than the other, so I feel like when I mix these both, I get the perfect mix of brightening. Now this sponge is amazing. This is the Jello Shots sponge from your lash bar you guys my girl taylor little tay tay aka bestie aka twin wife aka mom she has a new sponge as a part of her line amazing it's so soft it feels just like a beauty blender and it sets really well too i use setting powder with it this is the huda beauty uh blondie setting powder got it all in my eye temporarily blind that's okay we're gonna keep going all right even though i couldn't see for about 10 minutes this is smashbox's foundation stick but it also has a contour on the side that corresponds with your foundation shade so i believe my foundation shade is 4.1 and the contour that goes with it matches it so that it gives you you know just the perfect amount of deepness not too red not too like burnt looking you know what i'm saying looks really good so i'm blending that out using a morphe contour brush in my hollows of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and around my forehead Next, I'm gonna do my eyes. I'm gonna use the Desi Katie Frankation palette. This palette is everything to me. I love it so much. The shimmer shades in here are amazing, but it also has really great transition shades. I just can't get enough of it. So I'm gonna use this brown color. <laughs> I'm gonna use this brown color to blend into my crease. I'm looking down because it helps me to like blend in the crease better. I can actually see where my crease is. And I'm just blending that brown color around that area just to deepen up and give me a bit of like dimension you know what i'm saying i'm also going to go in with a smaller skinnier pencil-y brush i'm going to take the darker brown here and i can't do a cut crease for the life of me i cannot do a cut crease but this is the best that i can do i'm just going to put that in there to define my eyes a little bit and then blend it out with the brush that i used before this is actually a concealer brush by smashbox now i'm using a smaller pencil brush um i believe this is by makeup addiction makeup addition brush but yeah I'm using that same dark brown underneath my lash line just to darken it up and give me a little bit of sassiness you know so I can get that Tyra smize you know what I'm saying now I'm taking a brush to apply this shimmery shade from the Frankation palette it's like the shimmery gold shade but I honestly don't know why I started using a brush because I love the way this applies my fingers way more so just disregard the fact that I'm using a brush use your fingers sis your fingers work better God gave you blending utensils okay so I'm just using my finger now and as you can see it's applying way more I'm getting that disco ball glittery effect that I really wanted so I'm also gonna blend a little bit of that cranberry shimmer shade in there as well um, just to give me a little bit of rosiness I did wear a red dress that night I don't know why I thought pink and red would be cute together but we, that's what we decided to do um, I didn't want it to be too pink but just a little bit like a rose gold color so now I'm doing my eyebrows, of course, with the ColourPop Brow Pencil. You already knew this is my jam in black and brown. And we're just filling those in very lightly. You know I don't do nothing extra to my brows, sis. We just fill them in. The key to a good brow is having a good brow artiste. Somebody who can, you know, edge them up, line them up right, give you a little trim. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my girl, Kristen. She hooked me up with the threading, okay? 
this cover affects glitter drops. These are amazing, like amazing Bible Kim, amazing. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of that to my sponge and then I'm going to tap that out on my hand just to make sure there's not too much product because you can apply too much and then it won't move. It dries down really quickly. So you have to make sure that you um, use a very light hand with this. And I'm just applying that on the high points of my cheeks and it's gonna give me some real life glitter, okay? But it's not gonna move though. That's the thing. And it stays right where you want it to be. Like, it's just amazing. So I use that in the areas where I normally highlight and then um, I'm going to put a powder highlight on top. This is also from the Friendcation collection. This is Chasing the Sun by Desi Katie. Using a Sephora tapered highlighting brush to apply that right over top of that glitter. And y'all, this highlighter is just so amazing. It's one of my favorite highlighters of all time. Like it's that good. I don't know if they still sell it, Dose of Colors, but you definitely wanna check it out. If you can get your hands on it, do so, because it is so good. Like it's perfect for deep skin tones. It's just the great amount of golden -y goodness. Yes. Now I'm using La Peach by Jackie Ina and Artist Couture. And this is gonna give me even more of a shine. Okay, I'm going for galactic star blinding everybody that I come in contact with. That's what I was going for, okay? So that's why I'm applying like four highlighters. And I'm also going to apply this Fenty Beauty Galaxy Palette. You guys know I love this palette. I love the glitters in it. And I always use this pinkish duochrome gold, pinkish gold color. And I use it as a highlight all the time. I love it so much. It gives me like a really pretty orangish pink duochrome look. I don't know. It just goes really pretty with my skin tone. So I applied it all. Oh, 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 I just can't get enough of it. Go ahead and apply mascara. I am going to be putting lashes on top. I'm going to use the NARS Climax Mascara and just, just to give me a little bit of a, you know, definition before I put the lashes on. Before I put my lashes on though, I am going to set my face um, and give it time to rest, Jesus, like the dew in the morning. Um, that is the Morphe setting spray. I went to Sephora the day before to get some lashes. These are Sephora, or actually these are Lily Lashes, uh, Miami. One of my favorite high-end lashes. I love these lashes, lashes, <laughs> lashes so much. They are just amazing. This is the best style, don't quote me but I'm pretty sure that Jesus made these lashes. People always ask me how I apply them so easily. Guys, it takes practice, okay? It took me years to learn how to do lashes right. So now I'm using a white eyeliner pencil just to line the inner rim of my eye because I like the way that my eyes pop when I do so. And then I'm also gonna put some mascara on the bottom. This is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. One of the best mascaras I've ever tried as well. I love this one and it gets those little baby hairs down there real nice grip some give them some definition make them pop and we're feeling it we're feeling it so i'm gonna apply this lippy pencil this is by ColourPop. i don't remember the name of it but i'm pretty sure it's just a regular old nude it may be bff3 or bff2 i don't know one of those but i'm going to apply that to my lips just to give me a little bit of color this is fenty's unbutton nude stunna lipstick and after that, I'm just going through my hair, you know, just combing it out, giving it some life because I curled it. So I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, bouncy and delicious. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I will have everything listed in the description box. And if you haven't already seen my surprise birthday party vlog, be sure to check that out. It is on my vlog channel right now. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!